all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI news video. Now we've got a lot of things to cover today. I've got news for DC, Marvel, Star Wars, and even Dragon Ball Z. So let's hop right into it. And we'll start off with the Dragon Ball Z news. We've got two new waves, or I would say more is one wave that's broken up into two assortments. But for Bandai America's Dragon Ball Dragon Stars line, these are the 6.5 inch figures. So the first wave, which is being uh, deemed Wave G, and both of these waves are going to include Build-A-Figure pieces for, for a Kale figure. But Wave G is going to include the figures, and forgive me if I mispronounce these names or don't pronounce them exactly correct. I'm not really that much into Dragon Ball. I, I don't really watch the cartoons or anything, so uh, I'm not terribly familiar with these characters. But but the first wave is, or Wave G, I should say, is listed as including figures of Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Super Saiyan Kaba, and Jiren. And then the second wave, which is being deemed Wave H, is going to include Super Saiyan Blue, K.O. Ken, Gohan, and Golden Frieza. So again, I, I probably butchered those names, but but definitely if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, you know, these figures cost about 20, between 20 and $25. So, you know, they're not quite as good as like the SH Figure Arts figures and such, but they don't cost as much either. And again, both you'll need to get both all six figures from the two waves in order to complete the Kale build a figure. Okay, now moving on to Star Wars news. So Sunday night, we got a new trailer for the Solo, a Star Wars story movie. And then yesterday, we got basically official images and product information for a bunch of different product for the upcoming movie. Now, the official release date for most of this stuff is going to be this coming Friday, April 13th. Now, some of this stuff like pretty much the stuff I'm about to talk about isn't going to be out on Friday, but like the basic stuff and the first two waves of Black Series figures, which have already started to hit shelves. You know, I've actually already reviewed all the Black Series figures, but you know, the official release date is technically April 13th. But for Hasbro, we got uh, official images for two upcoming exclusive figures. So Chewbacca, I figured Chewbacca was going to be getting a, a figure for the new movie since he does look a bit different and everything. And so this, you know, he's got the different bandolier and he's wearing glasses or goggles and he's got a different weapon. I guess he didn't have his uh, crossbow at this point. But this is going to be a Target exclusive, and so we're getting official images for that figure. And this is actually, I believe, the first that the figure's even been announced. And then the Mimban Stormtrooper. I don't really know what the story is behind this guy. It looks like he takes uh, dress tips from Captain Phasma. He's got the cape and all. Looks very dirty. Uh, his armor is really dirty, at least especially when you're looking at the Hasbro one. It looks like he's covered in mud. So again, I don't really know what, what, the, what the deal is with him, why he's got a cape and everything but that figure is going to be a walmart exclusive now that one was announced at toy fair if i remember correctly i don't know if they released any images for it i can't remember but that one was was announced back in february now coincidentally tomasi nations also announced two figures for the movie and the exact same two figures so which is kind of odd because i don't think they've announced any other figures like han solo lando calrissian at, at this point they have not announced those characters i'm sure they'll probably do them but they've the first two that they announced is also chewbacca and the Mimban stormtrooper so chewbacca is going to have uh three different head sculpts um two without the glasses with different uh, facial expressions one where he's growling and then the the third one has got got the glasses on and he's going to also come with that uh blaster that i guess he's using in this movie we'll have multiple pairs of hands and stuff and then the stormtrooper is just going to have multiple pairs of hands and and two blasters of course we'll have the cape and everything now the the sh figure it's one i mean the armor looks like it's kind of scuffed up but it doesn't look as muddy as the hasbro version so i'm not sure which one is more accurate i don't don't have release dates for the Hasbro Black Series versions, but the SH Figure Arts versions will see release in June. Okay, now switching gears to DC Comics, I've got a couple things to share with you on that front. So first of all, I've got some new updated images for that DC Multiverse Signature Series 6.5 inch Linda Carter Wonder Woman figure. 
So I showed you some newer images last week, but we've got even better images now. And these images actually come via the Walmart website. They have the figure listed, even though it's not actually in stock or anything. Now, I don't know if these are final images. I'm really hoping they are not because these images still have on the legs those horrible looking seams. I don't know what is up with that. I, I don't know why they would have that on the final release. So again, I am hoping that's something they fix on this figure before it actually is released. But these are a little bit better quality images than what I showed you last week. Uh, gives you a better look at the head sculpt. Looks like uh, for like her, her outfit, you've got some metallic blue there you can see from behind. So that looks a little bit better than what we saw initially. Face sculpt looks okay. I mean, I gotta be honest, you know, this we're looking at single hinged elbows with this one. And again, if the those seams are on the actual final figure on the legs, then, you know, Mattel might as well just give it up. But hopefully again, that'll be something that's corrected. Now the figure is supposed to include a cape, a, a red cape with the stars and stripe like you saw in the TV series. We still don't have an image with that yet and then she'll have her magic lasso and such. You do see the display base that's included with this one which is included with all these signature series figures. The figure is going to cost $25 and should be out in August. Okay in other DC news we've got some new reveals that come from overseas. So from Mediacom for their Mafex line it looks like they're going to be doing a Justice League movie Bruce Wayne figure based on Ben Affleck. So he's wearing a suit like we see in the Justice League movie when he goes to visit the Flash. And the figure is gonna come with a Batarang and also a rifle for the uh, Parademon. So that would probably you wanna give to your Batman figure since he didn't actually use that when he was Bruce Wayne. But I gotta say, based on these images, which come from a convention overseas, the Wonderfest convention, and this uh, the website AHN is the one that are providing these images. I'll put a link to them in the video description below. But, you know, from these images, the Ben Affleck face sculpt actually looks pretty good. And my guess is you can probably take that head sculpt and stick it on your regular Batman figure, your Justice League Batman figure if you wanted to. So if you wanted an unmasked Batman, you could probably use this head sculpt if you wanted to. I don't have a whole lot of details as far as release dates or anything like that. I don't know if it'll come with any other accessories. Probably it will have multiple pairs of hands and stuff. But as it is, you know, this is our first look at that figure. Also, we're getting a new updated look at the Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Batman figure. So back in February, we saw some unpainted prototypes for this figure. Uh, Yamaguchi, Revel Tech, Kiato, they're moving into DC Comics. They've been doing the Marvel comic ones, but now they're starting with DC with Batman here. So we're getting to see the figure fully painted and everything. And again, these come from the overseas convention via AHN. And I gotta say, you know, not bad looking. I mean, you've got those lines on the chest, which, you know, always with these Revel Tech figures, you usually have unseemly looking joints and stuff. But, and you've got the big cape, which some people don't really like. They didn't like it with the Magneto figure. Didn't bother me as much. I think it's kind of cool looking. It does make the figure top heavy and can sometimes be hard to pose. But when you get it in certain dynamic poses, I do think, you know, those cape, those big plastic capes look pretty good. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, what your preference references but if you're into Batman and such then you might want to check this out again I don't have any specific release dates or anything like that I don't know what other accessories will come with the figure but again we are getting a more final look at what the figure will actually look like Okay, and then finally on the Marvel Comics front, I've actually got quite a few things to share with you guys today. So starting off with Hot Toys. So I actually forgot to mention this last week, but Hot Toys released official images for their upcoming 12-inch Avengers Infinity War Black Widow figure. So, you know, based on Scarlett Johansson with the blonde hair. Now this figure is currently up for pre-order at places like Big Bad Toy Store. The figure is going to come with a special display base and we'll have our batons as well as what they're calling disc shooters. So I thought they were tasers, but I guess officially they're being called disc shooters. So uh, I, I think that shoots her stingers out. Um, but again, uh, you know, I don't know for sure. But, but that's what's included and we've seen it with other figures and stuff. So, you know, to me they look like tasers, but... Hot Toys, at least, is calling them disc shooters. And then also we've got a preview image, which gives us our first decent look at their upcoming Infinity War Captain America figure. So it looks like they've done a pretty good job of nailing the look of Chris Evans with the beard with this one. And he will also come with two of those vibranium 
Black Panther type shields. No release date or any information like that at this time for Cap. Tomasi Nations this week released official images for their upcoming SH figure arts Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man figure. Now this figure seems to be very similar to their Civil War Ant-Man figure. The helmet and the belt seem to be the biggest differences between the two figures. And this figure will be out in August. I assume there will be a Wasp figure released, but no real information on that at this time. Now, on the Marvel Select front from Diamond Select Toys, so first of all, I just wanted to update you guys about that Thanos figure, that modern comic book-based Thanos figure, which is a Disney Store exclusive. I told you about this figure last week, but I just wanted to let you know that that figure is now available on the Disney UK website for purchase. So if you live in the United Kingdom, you can go on and order it online. It should be soon available on the US website as well, and we'll also see it at all the Disney stores. This is not a Disney Park exclusive as some have tried to claim. It is a Disney Store exclusive and again should be uh, soon available here in the United States on the website and stuff and will cost $30. Okay and then also just real quick on the C2E2 front that was the convention that took place this past weekend in Chicago. I just wanted to share this look at the new X-Men Beast Select figure that Diamond Select Toys is doing. Now we saw this figure back in February at Toy Fair in fact, this may be the exact same figure that we saw at Toy Fair, so I don't think there's been any changes made. Uh, the final version should look a little bit different than what we see here, but I just wanted to share the image, and it's gonna come with that Danger Room base piece, display piece, like we've seen with previous X-Men figures. It's gonna cost $25 and should be out this fall. Now, unfortunately, they did not have any of their Avengers Infinity War Marvel Select figures on hand. They're doing three different figures, none of which are Thanos. I know some of you have been asking if they're going to do Thanos and I don't think they're going to do Thanos definitely has not been announced I think they're only doing the three uh, which is Spider-Man Captain America and uh, Thor and Rocket Raccoon I believe are the three different ones of well, four if you count Rocket but Rocket comes with Thor and those are the only three I believe that they're going to be doing this year for Avengers Infinity War okay and then on the Marvel Legend front I've got some new images of that X-Men Apocalypse Build-A-Figure wave specifically the Apocalypse figure some comparison shots to share with you guys these images once again come from SB toy 74 he's the one that found the wave in Canada now these images you know show off apocalypse and how he basically sizes up with other build of figures and I gotta say he actually comes off a little bit on the short side I don't necessarily need my apocalypse to be 12 inches tall but I think he should probably be a little bit bigger than what we're seeing with with these new images also, I wanted to update you guys as far as release dates go. So I've been doing some checking. Uh, I was hoping that we were going to start seeing the X-Men wave in larger numbers than what we have. At this time, I only know of two people who have gotten their hands on, on, on these figures, and I don't even know exactly where, where they actually got the figures from. But I did some checking. I did some checking with some folks in Canada, and all indications are that this wave is not actually supposed to be hitting right now. So it may be that some mistakenly got released early. I, I don't know, but, but from what I'm told, we should actually see the next Avengers wave first, which is not supposed to see release until June. That's the wave with the second batch of Infinity War figures. And then the X-Men wave will be released in August. Now, I personally find it hard to believe that it's going to be that long before we see these next two waves. But again, officially at least, that's what I'm being told. And so while we might see them you know, get released a little bit early, in fact, you know, we're obviously seeing a few of the X-Men figures getting released early somehow. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much I would take these release dates, you know, as being set in stone. But I just wanted to update you guys that I've checked with multiple sources, including uh, those selling these figures in Canada. And all indications are that, that the figures won't see release until this summertime. So if you were hoping for a little bit of a break on your wallet then you might deem that as good news. But, you know, like I said, it looks like there might be a more of a bit of a delay with these figures than originally anticipated. Okay, and then the final bit of information I wanted to share with you guys is a look at another Marvel-based Mafex figure. This is, again, going to be based on a comic book character, not movie character, and it's going to be Spider-Man. So the first figure they're doing in this line was Gwenpool. That was announced a few months ago, and now it looks like they're going to expand with Spider-Man. This figure was on display at the Overseas convention 
And you can see the figure looks like has a, a heavy Eric Larson influence with it, with the eyes and everything. At least that's what it strikes me as. And you can see the webbing is actually sculpted on the figure. He's got, he's shooting a web, so I'm sure he's going to come with multiple web effect pieces. Looks like he's sticking to the wall there, so he's probably going to come with a pair of those magnet hands like we've seen with some of their movie figures, so he can stick to metal walls and such. I don't know if he's going to come with a display base or anything like that. I don't have a lot of details I don't have a release date and and I don't know you know exactly what accessories he's going to come with I'm assuming this figure will be released after the Gwenpool figure which should be coming out soon I believe and then like I said this one will probably see release later this year but I find it interesting that they're definitely seem to be expanding into comic book based figures previously they'd only done the movie ones which is generally what we see with these import figures so it'll be interesting to see if they kind of expand beyond Spider-Man if they do other characters in the Marvel Universe for comics, like the Avengers and stuff, I would definitely be interested in seeing that. So that's it for, for today. Um, let me know what you guys think about everything I talked about in the comments section below. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch accounts. I have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.